You're about to watch a short film explaining how Avon and Wiltshire Mental Health Partnership NHS Trust lets people know about research they could take part in. We are interested in finding out how you would prefer to find out about research. This should take about five minutes. AWP have a research and development team, or R&D. This team oversees and supports all mental health and dementia research studies across our trust. This research helps us understand, manage and treat mental health conditions, including addictions and memory problems. The aim is to find better ways to treat these conditions and improve the quality of life for service users and carers. What might research actually involve? Well, there are many different research studies going on in the Trust. These can involve things like talking to a researcher about your experiences, trying a new medication or filling out some questionnaires. Before taking part in research, you would first be given some information about the study to read and get lots of time to think about what might be involved, ask questions and talk it through with your friends or family. If you decide you might like to take part, you would be asked to sign a consent form before going any further. The research nurse will then check you are suitable to take part. Research studies often have very strict guidelines, such as needing a specific diagnosis. If you are not suitable for a study, you can always try for a different one in the future. At the moment, there are two ways we can let you know about research in AWP. The clinician-led approach, which is most commonly used in the NHS, and the everyone included approach, which is new in AWP. We're going to tell you a bit about them. First, looking at the clinician-led approach. Jo is a research nurse in the R&D team. She approaches Dr Lewis to ask if he knows of anyone who might be suitable to take part in a research study. He finds a few people. One of these is Lee. If Dr Lewis gives his permission, Lee can then be told or posted information about the study. Using this approach, it is the clinician who decides if Lee gets to find out about the research opportunity. The good things about the clinician-led approach are that your care team know you, so they might have a better idea if you can take part based on the strict study guidelines. They can also speak to you face to face about what might be involved. However, Clinicians are very busy and might not have time to check that you are suitable. They also might forget to tell you about the study during appointments or might not see you that often. The key point about this approach is that it is your clinical team that decide if you are informed about research. Jo can also use the everyone included approach to let people know about research. This means that all service users will automatically receive information about suitable studies through the post unless they opt out. Opting out is easy and can be done at any time by phone, post using free post reply slips, through care teams, through email or the Trust website. An introduction letter about everyone included is always sent first, explaining what to expect and how to opt out if preferred. Using this approach, with permission from the R&D manager, Joe asks the IT department to run an automatic search of medical records based on key words matching the study guidelines. This ensures letters are only sent to people who might be able to take part. Lee is identified by this process and receives a letter. If he is interested, it is up to him to contact the research team. If he is not interested, he can ignore the letter and nothing else will happen. Some good things about everyone included are that you decide for yourself to find out more. You don't have to wait for the clinical team. This also means you may be more likely to find out about studies. However, because the search is based on keywords and done electronically, it may not be as accurate as your clinical team, who know more about you, so you might not always be able to take part. Also, you might not be interested in the study. If you're not, you can ignore the letter and nothing else will happen. The key point about this approach is that if you are identified, you choose to find out more if you are interested. Thank you for watching this short film. We'd be really grateful if you could now answer a few questions.